What's going on guys, it's Colin, and you may be wondering, why is he posting a regular commentary to this channel? And for those of you who have been subscribed for a while, you know it's normally reserved for the live commentaries and the in-game communications, but there's been a lot going on with D-Crew, so I wanted to give you guys an update on that, and talk about what plans we have for the future of this channel. So, as, uh, as you're probably already aware, we added another member to D-Crew and that is Don't Blink, and he is a PC player, although I'm the guy that's lagging behind right now. Uh, most of the rest of the group, they have gaming PCs now and have been playing some Battlefield and Crisis 2 and, and other games on the PC, and once I get my taxes done and I figure out <clears throat> the financial scenario for the rest of the year, I'm going to get a gaming PC as well, so we will be well represented on Xbox and PC. Uh, I'm still the only guy with a PS3. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to talk about the gameplay for a second. Jay and I are playing Conquest on Laguna Presa. I'm going to pick off these, these two guys who are uh, contesting me for the base cap of Alpha, and then I get picked off by a recon guy hanging out on the cliff. So I'm just going to duck behind this burning vehicle and use the comfort and the knowledge that uh, there's very little chance that that Wookiee is going to come down off the cliff to uh, do anything about me capping this base. And uh, that's one of the things that frustrates me when I have a guy like this on my team. He's defending A, but if somebody's actually on it capping it, he doesn't do a damn thing about it. So we're just going to play Ring Around the Rosie a little bit. Uh, sorry, I, I guess Hide and Seek is probably a little bit more appropriate. Right here, I see somebody spawned on him. That was a medic. And uh, I'm just going to kind of juke back and forth until I manage to get a beat on him. So uh, anyway, I thought this was funny. <laughs> he doesn't do anything about it. He's going to hide behind his rock while we take A and continue to steamroll his team. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. And he tags me again before I finish him off. Anyway, on to what I was talking about. So we had a new member. Uh, don't blink. He's an awesome addition. He's a great guy. And I wanted to talk for a minute about what D Crew is. And I get tons of messages, as do the other guys, asking, you know, can you join D Crew? Uh, I have such and such a stats. You know, I want to join up and, and play with you guys. Like, we're not a clan. We are not a clan. We're not really even a team. We're a group of friends who enjoy getting together and playing games. We share the same philosophy about gaming, and we uh, enjoy each other's company. And that's pretty much what D Crew is. And you know, we're we're friends. We we communicate all the time when we're not in the game. And you know, that's just how it's kind of grown. So as far as people trying out for D Crew, that's not going to happen. Um, you know, if you're looking for a clan or if you're looking for people to play with, I suggest you definitely go over and, and check out Don't Revive Me Bro. You can rock the DRMB clan tags or the DRM clan tags, and you'll meet up with people in game that way. And I've seen a ton of people with those tags, and, you know, that's kind of a public open clan, if you will, for people to join and, and have fun. So, you know, by all means, check that out. But uh, D Crew is not something where we're actively looking for new members at all. And uh, I apologize if that hurts some people's feelings, but uh, that's just how it is right now. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, where, where are we going to take this channel? So, in the past, when we've gone in and had, uh, you know, decent games w with good communication, we've posted those here. And we've also posted the occasional drinking with the D-Crew night where, <laughs> you know, we'll have a few uh, adult beverages and get a little bit crazy in the game chat. And we'll post that as well with gameplay. Some people like that, some people don't. But by and large, you know, it's been uh, more tactically oriented game communications. And some of you like that. And that's primarily probably why you're subscribed here. So... What we're going to do is, uh, some of the good news is that all of us that are posting on YouTube, with the exception of Hobo, who's just getting started kind of with a Minecraft channel, uh, we've all now obtained partnerships through YouTube, and... So, uh, Swordsman, he's, uh, you know, he's partnered up through Machinima, I'm partnered through the Game Station, and Stone, Blink, and Jay, they're all partnered through Pixel Enemy. So, you know, that's great for us. It, it affords us the opportunity to make a little bit of revenue off some videos. Uh, rest assured, you know, nobody's getting rich, but, you know, if it covers the cost of our gaming hobby at some point, then, then that's a really good day. And, uh, you know, for me, in my personal situation, that, uh, that just kind of helps me justify maybe putting out a video when I otherwise uh, <laughs> might not. So, uh, you know, I, I still love doing this, and uh, I do it because I enjoy it. So if it ever started feeling like work or I didn't like it or anything, uh, partnership or not, I, I would quit quit and I think that the rest of the guys are pretty much in the same boat and, and that just goes to speak to the philosophy we have about gaming and, and it's for fun. Now with that being said uh, with the channels partnered we do have some guidelines that we have to follow and be careful of. Right here you see I'm just failing miserably with the sniper 
But, you know, we have to be careful for things like copyright and, and that sort of thing. And, and I know that Jay's already had to pull down a couple of videos and audio swap another one because of copyright concerns. And I've pulled down a bunch of content as well. But what we always have liked to do is if, uh, if some funny things happen in a, in a session of gaming, we're like firing them together as, as sort of a highlight reel, shots of the night. Uh, Stone and Jay have done those in the past. I've put together little mini-tages of, of a good clip or, or something that's happened. And we want to continue to do those things, but we don't want to keep posting uh, copyrighted content to our channels and that sort of thing. So what we're planning to do is, is bring all of that sort of thing here. You know, if there's a cool D-Crew moment, uh, if we get some, uh, some Beast clip that we want to slap some music on and post, then we're going to be doing that here on this channel on a go-forward basis. So, you know, hopefully that doesn't alienate you guys too badly who are here for the live commentaries. And I think that we're probably all going to make an announcement about this uh, on our own channels. Maybe not. Maybe it's just me but you know that that's the intent and so you know we want to keep this channel sort of as a hub for for cool and fun things that happen to us in game maybe at a game I don't even know but we're gonna open it up so it's not just gonna be the live in-game stuff it's gonna be you know highlights of the night that sort of thing and I hope you guys are down with that if not I uh, you know just uh, Keep an eye out, and if it's not a video you're not interested in, or sorry, if it's a video you're not interested in, then, uh, you know, by all means, feel free not to watch. But, um, you know, folks also like the highlights of the night and that sort of thing, so we have fun making them. Those videos are a ton of fun to make, and uh, so, yeah, figured we'd bring those here. Hope you guys are cool. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I could say that it'll matter, and we won't do it if too many people rail against it, but that's probably not the case. Uh, we, we always like to try and interact and engage with our subscribers, but sometimes we just got to do things for us and have a bit of fun. So that's where the D-Crew channel is going. As you can see, this game of Conquest is not particularly interesting. We're just kind of setting up, and, uh, you know, <laughs> once, uh, once we got that alpha cap, it was pretty much all over. And, oh, Mortar Strike. Wookie. God, these guys are driving me nuts. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to update you guys on the goings-on. Uh, Stone, Blink, and Jay, they were on the Don't Revive Me Bro podcast a couple of weeks back. So if you haven't checked that out yet, the link will be in the description. And uh, I'll be on it again uh, in the near future. Keep you guys up to date when that happens. And we're all psyched for Battlefield 3. Uh, I think that we're going to get uh, involved in sort of a community server, that sort of thing. So I think Battlefield 3 is going to be awesome. Uh, obviously, that'll be on the PC, but I will, and I will 100% have a gaming PC by then. <laughs> Definitely, and hopefully in advance, so I can get some get some skills up before then, because I am absolutely, absolutely going to suck ass with a mouse and, key mouse and keyboard for a while. Wow. Mouth and keyboard. <laughs> Freudian slip. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm going to suck with a mouse and keyboard. So I want to make sure that I'm playing probably Bad Company 2 a bit on the PC before that. And uh, yeah, you know, just really looking forward to it. And everything that's been going on has just been absolutely fantastic. So I want to thank you guys for continuing to support us and, and to support this channel. And there will be a ton of new content coming soon, I promise. And, you know, we're, we're going to keep having fun with this for you guys. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Now, the guys are playing a lot of Crisis. I don't know if they're going to bring some of that to this channel. I hope you don't mind if they do. Uh, we're just kind of trying to keep ourselves distracted while we wait for uh, Battlefield 3. Because, you know, I'm still having fun playing Bad Company 2. But occasionally it's nice to have a bit of a break. And, uh, you know, I think the boys are, are enjoying Crisis too. I have it still in the plastic wrap for Xbox. I haven't played it yet. Uh, no, actually, I lie. I uh, took it out of the plastic wrap last night to look at the controller layout. <laughs> but I'll be playing some of that myself, and uh, maybe a little bit of home front, but I won't post that here on this channel. I'll keep it uh, probably to my Battlefield content. But that's it. That's the end of the game. We rolled them. I apologize it wasn't the most entertaining gameplay, but I uh, wanted to show you guys how badly I can fail with a sniper rifle, even when I pick it off off somebody else. So that's it for now, guys. Cheers. Look forward to lots more content. We'll talk soon.